the hit by Tupperware Remix Party featuring Ninja Sex Party right here on 89.5 The Wave. We got too many segments, and now we gotta hype them all. All aboard the hype train! Hype, hype, that's right, the hype train just dropped it off, and we got ourselves some irrelevant news for you, including some great jokes and such in here, I believe. There are ten stories for me to read. You know what that means? I'm going to get flustered, and I'm going to say words that are not appropriate after I get off the microphone. So yay for me! Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I love, I love saying that for some reason. I don't know why. I think that's the new that's one of the new catchphrases that is going to come along with the show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. You know, I'll find something better to say. Anyway, here's Feelings by Maroon 5 right here on 89.5 The Wave. This is the Irrelevant News Desk with the Doug Brooks and the Morning Show. Today, celebrating a birthday, we got John Stamos, who is now 53, Kira Sedgwick from The Closer, who's 51, Kevin Dillon from Entourage, who's 51, Matthew Perry, who's 57, and make sure to keep your interns locked up because Bill Clinton turns 70 years young today. U.S. cities grace with naked Trump statues. There are some things you can't unsee, and a naked Donald Trump statue is one of them. Several of the nations got full, full, full frontal view of the activist group's new artwork. Activist group In Decline took credit for the installations. That's right, they installed all of these uh, beautiful, I use beautiful very, uh, not truly. Uh, pieces of work, artwork. Ugh. Calling that art is not something I like to say. Anyway, the Washington Post reports the group unveiled the project in Seattle, New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Cleveland. Why Cleveland? I don't know. Why not, I guess. Uh, colleges offer a tool to help avoid the freshman 15. As high school graduates start college this month, that's right, they're starting this month. That's why I no longer have a co host. Thanks, college, for stealing yet another one of my co-hosts. Jeez, you know, this is literally the second co-host college has stolen from me. Might even find myself to file a lawsuit against them. Anyway. Universities are offering a range of tools that help them avoid the so-called Freshman 15. It's a common experience for many college newcomers face the ultimate cafeteria food, late night pizza binge, and snacking that come through the irregular student schedules. Some colleges offer nutritious workshops for freshmen, and most have improved their menus over the years and now offer more healthy choices. The good news, by the way, is the freshman 15 usually, you yeah, know, usually gives you more than like 5 to 7 pounds out of 15. I, however, was the exception when I went to a college that was far away that I don't mention anymore. I actually lost weight, which I've gained back now, so it's all good and healthy. Well, the weight part, gaining it back wasn't so healthy, but that's beside the point. A Chinese woman appeared in court accused of transporting pants. Accused of transporting panties and long johns soaked in heroin. That's right, her panties and long johns that were soaked in heroin. Like, come on, what is, what's wrong with people? The woman claims that the tainted underwear has been planted in her luggage after two men offered her a job and a plane ticket. I don't know if I can believe that one. You just all of a sudden randomly have heroin soaked panties and long johns. That seems like something that you already had planned pre prepackaged and everything ready to go. For some people, spotting a bug in the shower is no big deal. As long as everyone keeps their distance, the bug can shower along. But the others who may have a fear of creepy crawler seeing a bug in such a vulnerable position is the worst possible scenario. A Reddit user named Letter 10 has a girlfriend who has a fear of insects and Wednesday morning discovered a note left by the significant other recounting the terror that occurred while she, while he was fast asleep. Aw, leaving love letters of straight pure horror. That's what I like to see in new budding romances. A 102-year-old woman in South Carolina says her daily 4 o'clock routine has helped her reach such a grand old age. Mildred Bowers turns 103 later this month and has told anyone looking to match her time on Earth to 
That's right. To drink a beer a day. A, to quote her, that a beer a day goes a long way to keeping the feeling fit and young. Bowers currently enjoys a 4 o'clock beer every day in her assisted living facility in the city and cites it is a critical part in her grand old time. I call that a winner. That, that's why I'm going to drink a beer every day. If I want to reach 103 someday, I guess I got to drink a bo- beer at 4 o'clock. I guess I got to put that on the work schedule. That's okay. I don't mind. A Michigan couple is suing the makers of Pokemon Go for turning their pri- their private oh, sorry, previously previously quiet cul-de-sac into a nightmare with people blocking the driveway and trespassing. But you got to realize, catching that elusive Pikachu is a big thing. And if you're trying to prevent me from doing it, I'm going to sue you back, Michigan couple. Is it okay to reward your child for good grades? As children return to school, many parents are deciding what prize, if any, is appropriate to offer the kid when they get good grades. Adults who promise money, gifts, or privileges say their children study harder when incentives are on the table. The lesson they hope to teach is the reward requires work. Researchers say the trick is making sure that students develop a natural love of learning alongside with, you know, good incentives. Researchers say the trick is making the students develop a natural love of learning. And the, when the gift cards and gadgets go away, the students are able to motivate themselves later on in life. So basically, it's a good little placebo. Huh. Guess that's a good idea for the future, maybe. A judge in Florida was not amused when a suspect car thief decided to dance in front of her in court on Thursday. Calvin Lloyd Griffith twerked. Yes, that's right, twerked. You heard me. I didn't pronounce that wrong. Twerked. Twerked in front of Miami Dob Judge Catherine M. Polar during the bond hearing. Laughs could be heard inside the courtroom, but Polar did not join in the laughter and set Griffith's bond for $18,500, which proves that if Miley Cyrus ever gets arrested, twerking is not the answer. So, I guess now Miley has to think of a plan B. An armed robbery at Detroit gas station has police and victims scratching their heads. The thieves didn't take any money or anything, but they stole three large boxes of honey buns. Hey, if you've never had a honey bun, you will not understand what it takes to steal three large boxes. I mean, at least two tanks got to come in behind me because otherwise it's over. I can't I can't do it. I got to have I need my honey bun. I need them. I'm not saying I stole them cuz uh one I do not live in Detroit, and two, I haven't had a honey bun in a couple of years. I've had uh, brownies. I've had those cosmic brownies, you know, the ones with the candy on top. I've even had uh, the uh, oatmeal cream pies, which, by the way, are delicious. And don't let anybody ever tell you that they're not delicious, because oatmeal cream pies are the greatest thing in the world next to Mom's cupcakes. Mom's cupcakes are delicious, and I hope she makes more of them eventually. I miss cupcakes. I love cupcakes. <sighs> anyway, um, I got a minute to waste, so how are you doing? You doing good? Good. If you're watching this episode on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button down below. And while you're at that like button, scroll a little bit over and hit that subscribe button. Because, you know, every subscribe makes me happy. And it makes me th- say that uh, every subscribe I get makes me happy. And it takes away a like from, you know, somebody else. Or not. I don't know. I'm making things up as I go along because I gotta waste another couple seconds, like another 50 or so. Uh, ooh, uh, because I can't play the random thoughts thing anymore because that is copyright and I can't use that. So I guess gotta randomly ramble. Oh, you know what works? I can use that. So, while we sit back and think and divulge into thinking more, let's listen to the Jeopardy tune. Do 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 do. Oh wow, 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 wow. Be- do, 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 do. I am wasting time. Yes, I am wasting time. Yes, I'm wasting time. Time has been wasted right now. Bong bong. That's right. I wasted a good amount of time. Ten seconds left, which means I can now intro the next song. 
Coming up next, we got She's Got Away With Words by Blake Shelton right here on 89.5 The Wave, The Doug Brooks Show, which is still technically being called Doug Brooks in the Morning Show.